Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and look at this beautiful animation and this is something very new and something refreshing. So before moving further, you should subscribe to our channel and join the membership and it will motivate us, support us and we will create more such beautiful awesome videos for you and just for free. So let's start the tutorial and the very first step is very easy you have to just insert a circular shape here and now you should insert this uh, rectangle and make sure you remove the outline from both these shapes and the height of all these three shapes now we have inserted another circle so all these three shapes should have the same height and you can adjust the height and width of these items from the uh, height and width option as you can see on the right side of the screen at the top so I'm just adjusting the width of the rectangle here now send it to back and you will get a shape like this so we are creating a piston kind of design here uh, it's not actually a piston but you can you know use that kind of shape here so uh, I mean to refer uh, an idea I thought let's call it a piston so for that you have to insert another circle here and we will subtract the orange rectangle like this so we will get this curved shape here now we will insert another rectangle here and remove the bottom part of this rectangle again this curved orange shape it's no more a rectangle now so now let's remove it by using the merge shapes option and we have subtracted it now duplicate and flip vertically and join them you can group them you have to press ctrl G G for group and send it to back and place it like this now we have this uh, piston like shape here or you can see a dumbbell so now it's the time to fill some nice color into it and I'll prefer a gradient color because gradient looks more refreshing and gradients are in trend as well and they make everything look more beautiful more realistic uh, personally I don't like flat colors those look boring to me of course yeah many people like the flat colors because they think it's very plain and simple and everything is easy to read but for me colors are very important so I have filled the gradient color you can try different colors you can follow different gradient combinations uh, There are many sites online from where you can get the ideas about gradient colors and every color has a complementary color which can be used as a perfect combination for a very nice gradient. You can't just mix every color or any color to create a gradient. There should be a matching color. So. Uh, there is a site called uigradients.com there you can find lots of gradient colors so i'm just experimenting here it's not like a set parameter or rule that i'm following here to fill the colors here i'm just filling gradient you can change the gradient angle style there are different styles like linear rectangle circle make sure whatever you fill it should look good and it should look very you know uh, it should look very nice and should match with the background as well currently I haven't used any background here but now we will fill a great um, background color for that I will prefer dark color because we have filled a light 
color on these shapes so we will keep the uh, background dark dark blue and it will look good now let's try to animate these shapes here i have applied spin animation you can find it under the emphasis part there are three kinds of animation entry emphasis and exit so you will find the spin option in the emphasis part make sure you repeat the slide this animation until the end of the slide option start with previous and your animation is done and it will uh, animate in a loop now duplicate it slightly change the angle here by using this node uh, change its size again duplicate it and keep on duplicating it changing its position and its size and its angle and just make sure you cover the screen so we will place here 5 to 10 these piston shapes at different angles and sizes like this so this is just random effort and i'm doing it randomly there is no set rule here like i have to place it in a set format just keep on changing the size and shape and angle and you know what will happen when all these will spin together it will look really nice but the only problem is they these all will spin in the same direction and spin in the same speed so that will not look good like this this is not looking that cool but now comes the creativity we will rotate half of these shapes counterclockwise so like if these are 10 shapes then 5 will be in clockwise motion and 5 will be in counterclockwise motion also another variable that we will add here to make it look more beautiful is the speed so we will randomly increase or decrease the speed of every shape these all shapes will spin at a different speed so I'm just you know doing the uh, same thing as I said uh, I'm making sure that every shape has a different speed and half of them are in counterclockwise motion so Uh, this will take some time this will take a minute so you can jump to the next minute from your seek bar slide if you want to skip this part like what i'm doing here is i'm increasing the speed randomly here for some of these shapes because currently they are moving very fast i mean spinning very fast now what we will do next is we will add another layer over it a shape over it because these all shapes will spin in the background of the text and to make the text visible we have to place a shape over it which uh, which will have you know a dark color uh, dark blue color and we will write text over it so let's insert the shape and fill the dark gradient color make sure to remove the outline and slightly increase the transparency on both these gradient nodes because uh, if we will not increase the transparency then the background effect will not be visible 
so here I'm slightly into the transparency so it's your own uh, decision you can increase it more if you want to reveal it more I want to keep it very minimum light so now inside the text here you can draw anything you want here I'm just typing plain text here so you can add a beautiful icon here you can draw circles you can showcase any diagram here any for example a fish bone diagram but make sure it should be you know in the form of I mean it shouldn't have any kind of color only the outlines should be um, visible so that kind of diagrams will look good here like icons icons look good here if you had a plain diagram or picture that will cover the space of the slide then the background effect that we have created will not be visible so make sure you add that kind of diagram which only has outline and not a uh, fill so I'm just writing text here business verticals I should write here subscribe and join so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and one more thing we have crossed 1 lakh subscribers 100,000 subscribers that's a great achievement and all thanks to you guys it's all possible because of you because you guys have been uh, continuously watching my videos from last 1.5 or 2 years so so thank you everyone for your support so our slide is done and here is the final result and you can see in the background I have inserted an image but I have done you know it after stop stopping the recording so you can do it you can insert a nice background some image some pictures so thank you everyone thanks for watching bye bye peace enjoy